Now to that uh, breaking news this morning about the FBI rounding up five mobsters tied to a decades-old murder plot straight out of Goodfellas. ABC's Pierre Thomas is in Washington with all these breaking developments for us. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, Robin. Arrests are going down today in a mob story that's been years in the making. And if that sounds like something out of the movie Goodfellas, well, it is. Nobody knows for sure just how much was taken in the daring pre-dawn raid at the Lufthansa cargo terminal at Kennedy Airport. In Goodfellas, mobster steals $6 million in jewelry and cash in the Lufthansa heist, at the time one of the biggest such capers in U.S. history. This morning, a key player in that robbery and a number of his associates were rusted out of their beds by the FBI. The mobsters, many from Long Island and Queens, are suspected members of the Bonanno crime family. One of the Bonanno family's top lieutenants during the Lufthansa heist was Jimmy the Gent Burke. Turns out that a murder that Burke and his crime family were suspected in provided a key break in the FBI's long-running investigation. Burke had been suspected in the death of Paul Katz, who disappeared decades ago, allegedly killed because mobsters thought he was an informant. Never ran on your friends and always keep your mouth shut. Burke, played in the movie by Robert De Niro, died in 1996. But a search of his home last summer found remains and DNA of cats. Cats' disappearance is eerily similar to the scenes in Goodfellas. You understand? <laughs> yeah. Where a victim is killed and then the mobsters methodically get rid of his body. This breaking news is tragic and dramatic enough to warrant a Goodfellas 2. You can't make this stuff up, George. Boy, you sure can, Pierre. Thanks very much.